Hello, so we're going to start layout again, part 2. Let's try to continue off from where we left in part 1, which is about shapes and lines. So open A3 landscape. And start with line, letter L. For me, I use W. Right click, make sure to object snap and unlock the grid snap. So without using SketchUp, can we make a floor plan here? I think so. Rectangle works. How do we know our measurement or our scale? So when drawing a line, you can see down here, the measurement or length is in millimeters. This is the actual dimension of the paper space. Change that, go to document setup, Look for unit and change millimeter to centimeter. Close. So if we want a 5 meter line and one is to 100 scale, that would be 5 centimeters. Just click 5 and enter. Make this 10, maybe 15, another 10, maybe 3. Five, five, take it. Oh. oh, it continues the line. Undo, undo, five, undo, six. So basically, the measurement starts off from where you're pointing. This is supposed to be seven centimeters and close. In layout 2017 and higher, you can use the offset tool. To create exterior walls at point 15. Enter. So this is one line, uh, one polygon, and another polygon. But notice that the fill option is on. That means that it is laid over the other one. So to move that, just click on fill. Want to create an opening, you have to trim it using this split or cutter and delete. Okay, however, since this is a new drawing, it does not connect the polygon. So glue them with the join tool, just click on them, and they are now one segment. If you want to see that, There. So you could create openings and you could also put a color. So click on fill, maybe blue. So you have your exterior walls and you have the stroke. You can change the line weight of the stroke and stroke, let's say two points. There. You can also double click to go within the group and just move them. There's no move tool, it's just a layout space, so we just use the mouse to move them by dragging. Okay, for example, this is our space or in layout, and we want to transfer this to SketchUp. Let's go to File, Export, export it as an AutoCAD file, say Sample, Save. Try to look for an AutoCAD version lower than the number of your SketchUp model and click on Export for SketchUp. Let's see if it works. Open SketchUp. So basically this is the model space and layout is the layout space. If you're familiar with AutoCAD, it's like the model tab and the layout tab. While waiting for SketchUp to open, it might take time depending on how many extensions you have installed. So I advise not to install too much extensions if you're not using them all. Or put your program on the solid state drive SSD of your computer. So file import, look for that CAD file. 
and it gets imported in this in, in relation to the scale of the person here. So this is the actual size of A3 in proportion to the human being. So since our scale is 1 is to 100, we could scale that 100 times to get the real scale in proportion to the person. It's already grouped twice, so I'll expose them. And I can create a surface using my make face extension, which is uploaded in the group. Okay, so yes, it works. You could work from layout to SketchUp, however, it's gonna start in 2D. Same workflow as using your AutoCAD. Okay, what else can we do? Like, see if we can just make a simple arc. This is a three point arc. How about a two point arc? Oh, that's a two point arc. How about a one point arc? Okay or very simple line and it also has its own fill so you could disable that by clicking on fill and change the light weight line weights with stroke if you do not want to keep on trimming them you can overlay it using another shape let's say this is the window uh, copy this using Control P. You could make that into a group by right clicking and pressing Make Group. Okay, but there are no components here in layout, so be careful. You could hit Control to show the plus sign and move. When the cross shows, it um, means move. And you could also rotate using this so in rotating you can transfer the anchor let's say down here and rotate it from there and then since our object snap is on it just snaps to the objects so that another way to make windows and doors is just to overlay them instead of trimming them especially if you can also you know, make your door designs. Say, let's just say small jams, and you could scale to center by hitting Alt. Okay. Change the line weight and do 1.5 as well. You can make this the door group. Right click, make group. Okay. So that's how to use the line tool and the shape style. In our next video, we'll try to work on dimensions. Dimensions. So this is not to scale. An advanced tip for making uh, lines is that you could click on one point and before hitting the other point, do not release. So when I click my second point, I do not release the mouse and I drag downwards, it becomes a curve. Move the fill. So this is useful if you want to make curve. Another way is to drag while making the first point without releasing and then after releasing creates a second point so these are types of splines just like your pen tool in photoshop and this could also have fill if you want to edit them just double click and just like the pen tool in photoshop you could move you could Move both, or you could hold down, I think, control, nope, out, yep, out to move just one handle.
Okay, so scrolling and layout or panning is the middle mouse button. So I hope I hope you learned something tonight. Enjoy layout and keep safe.